how's it going everyone captain Ron here and welcome back to another video so today on the menu we're gonna be blending a little bit of color I figured we can go from a red to a yellow and then maybe we can mix it up and go from a red orange into a yellow so that's just uh, my theory here so um for our tools we're going to be using dynamic colors dynamic chinese red dynamic orange and dynamic canary yellow we're going to be using it on a piece of real skin i cut off a fresh little square and i have a secondary one here just in case we want to use some different colors so now I dug through all my practice skins and I did find this little piece that I did practice quite some time ago, probably just, you know, eight, six, eight months ago. So this is kind of what we're gonna be going for. All right, so um, today we're gonna be using a 1221 curved mag from Color Dragon. Simply because this is the biggest mag I have at the moment in standard standard gauge. Um, now I've heard it both ways. Right, let me get some ointment here. I've heard it both ways. I've heard that uh, it's best to use a um, standard mag for color. And then I've also heard that it's best to use a uh, 10 gauge mag for color so um we're gonna be using a standard gauge just because I'm about 70% sure that's the way it's to, uh, told to be done so we're gonna be using my um, Ava GTXS with my Ava EP7 wireless battery now this pen has a 3.5 millimeter stroke good all around stroke and it is not direct drive. So let's get something to put underneath this because I like to use, I like to put something underneath it just to give it a little bit more give if you will. So I have a different view here so I'm using kind of like the bird's eye view here so I really hope this works out better for y'all. Let's put away the crap that we're not going to need. Whoa. Oh, that's nice. Now, this is a closed mag. I'm just finding this out, which isn't my favorite to use, but we'll just make do. If not, we'll just start over. Probably hang about right there. Probably start low about seven, seven volts. here just for flushing my flushing the cart cartridge out now usually I would just um if I was practicing like this just to save time I would uh just use a different cartridge for different colors but I figured I could just demonstrate how to flush it out as well since we're here you know A nice little dip here, just a quick little flash in there. All right, so we're gonna work from dark to light, and uh, yeah, so this is usually how I go about it. Now, this is gonna be a very like rudimentary 
style of how to blend them and I just kind of learned how to do this just by messing around and uh, yeah that's pretty much it so um, just like any other tattoo I'm just going to start with my transition now let me get comfortable here I haven't tattooed in a week or so I'm definitely not used to having this back heavy here so so let's start we're going to start with our transition No, I'm just using the pendulum method here. There's a lot darker on camera, so just using the pendulum here. Start with our transition. We'll kind of uh, let's do this real quick, huh? No, it's just the old pendulum method. Um, it just works what works better for me. Now I'll just pack over here on this side. And we'll kind of just take our pack to uh it's gonna take our pack and we kind of just push it over towards our transition and then we'll kind of you know see where it fades out now if you want to make it a little bit more drastic i'm just going to take this and push it out a little further No, I've never, I don't, I've never uh, had a chance to try this on uh, actual human skins here, or skin here. Let me zoom in just a pinch here, guys. But, um, this is just, you know, a basic technique that you guys can take and run with. So, not going for anything super perfect here. All right, that works for me. Now I'm just going to burn off some of this ink over here. That way it doesn't take up my whole dip cap.
power it down. Alright. Let's just go ahead and jump in with our orange here. <laughs> so um, we start with our dark sewer lights just because it will um, I'm going to shake off some regi residual ink here just because it will um, it'll bleed like it did right here so if we look closely here I should really turn my machine off before I poke myself wouldn't be the first time so right here you see our orange and then right here it kind of the orange bled into the yellow so uh, on on human skin that will when it heals that will go away but uh, real skin unfortunately it does not kind of just gets into those little pockets that you're poking in with the needles you know so on um, this is not a direct drive machine it's, it has an eccentric wheel which in my opinion um, especially when you're first starting out, I feel like it's, uh, very, very helpful. That's more forgiving, you know what I mean? More give, more forgive. So, let's see if it comes back to me here. So we're just going to start out with a big pendulum, um, right here where we start, where we get our fade, and we're going to blend out this way, and we should start to see it. Now I am using quite a bit of pressure here because I'm using a bigger magnum than what I'm usually used to, so but I do have it kind of turned to the side like so and I'm uh Hopefully you guys can see it, kind of. And I'm uh, just doing the old pendulum. All right, so we're gonna slow it down a little bit. I'm gonna slow down our hand speed. See if we can get some. So yeah, like I said, I'm using quite a bit of pressure. There we go, not a super opaque orange. I'm gonna try to wipe away from our red here because it will get in there. I hope you guys can kind of see that, right? Yeah. So let's go ahead and we're gonna start here where our transition is and we're gonna whip out just a little further to get our transition to go out there a little further. And uh, so if we start right here and start whipping out, we might get a darker orange here than right here and it'll just look off. And that applies to your shading too, like, yeah. So we're just gonna whip it out nice and even. So let's just do one little quick brush over here. There we go. 
so these aren't going to be <clears throat> exactly perfect guys but I'm uh, pretty sure I'm pretty uh, confident in this if you just practice start with this basic technique right here you can develop uh, you know more skill on top of it but you got to start somewhere so if this is a uh, something that can help you it's gonna help you you know get the ball rolling then I'm down I'm down to help you guys out so Now, I was first inspired to try this way many, many months back when Dave from Art Something uh, demonstrated this on his leg. I believe he used the exact same colors. So, but he did the um, he did the circles, and when he would space it out uh, to get a thinner, you know, to get less. Good lord, words are not English is not coming to me right now, guys. I'm sorry. So uh, to uh, get his uh, gradient, you know, he would just spread his circles out bigger. But, um, which that's fine, but my, that's just um, uh, an example of just like a really, really tried and true hand technique that he has. So, um, which, you know, you guys can get there if you practice. So I'm just not there yet. This is the pendulum. I found that the pendulum just really works for me. So I've just, I'm going to stick with that. Try to get some of this orange out of here. It's kind of the bummer about these closed carts is that um, it's hard to get the needles cleaned out. That's right, there's a little orange in there, there's a little red in there, there's a little bit of everything. But, you know, that's fine. It'll blend with our, hopefully it'll help smooth out our transition here. Now I did shake these up before I started up this video, so. Thanks for letting me know though. So we have our opaque, our opaque transition to opaque transition. And then we're going to do the same thing over again, but with our yellow. So you want to make sure to clean your card out the best as you can, because it will if you leave too much in there. It'll uh, mix up in the tube. So, oh, sorry, I forget I'm zoomed in here. These are really nice cards though. Color Dragon. We are Color Dragon. Speedman is with us now. All right, y'all. Let's shake out the residge. That's short for residual. And um, let's keep racking. All right, so same thing over here, guys. We're just going to um, see where our transition starts to taper off. We're going to find that to be our middle point. And then we're gonna start doing large pendulums past our transition into our, where it starts to get to our, an opaque orange. So let's go. a little bit <clears throat> yellow is pretty light so just think about that and you want your transition to kind of go out there pretty far and um, as you can see here it's not super opaque around the edges but that's fine the, te the technique is what I'm trying to demonstrate here so so we're just going to go let's put a little bit more goop down right here um, we'll just hit it some more. We'll slow down our hand mo mo uh, movements here and try to get some more uh, ink in faster. Let's wipe and check that out. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
Essen. Uh-oh. Starting to pull it towards me, guys. Sorry about that. Now, the way I have this set up here, I can just barely see what's going on on the screen of my phone. But good news is this should be in 4K, and I got a new microphone, so the uh, audio should be just a little bit better. Just a little bit. The phone, the microphone on these phones are, I just got an S23, not the Ultra or the Plus or whatever the hell, but I just got a regular S23, and um, the microphone on that is actually pretty good, so I just don't like hearing my echo in the room, you know what I mean? Alright, so... Mm -hmm. see it kind of probably should have used a darker red I used the brightest red I had so um yeah let's give it one more pass here and um <clears throat> I probably could have brought this orange transition out a little bit further and it would have, um, you know, magnified the effect. It would have seen the, the trans, the transition looked, it would have looked more uh, smoother and not as so abrupt. You know what I mean? Like red, orange, yellow, you know what I mean? Sorry guys, explaining things I am not good at, but I probably could have used a darker red for the top, but you can see it guys, right? You guys can see it. Get our Chinese red. Our orange. And then we have our yellow. But yeah. So essentially the longer you make the tail of your transition here, let me just demonstrate real quick. We're here, we might as well, right? The longer you make the tail of your transition, the smoother it's really gonna look. These things are really cool. These are called dip caps. This is the Bishop version of them. Dip caps, there's dip foams, there's all kinds of them. And then if you wanted to, you could just flip it. So let me get a hold of it here. You can just flip it or on the side. We'll use the side that seems to be the cleanest. <clears throat> Anyways, hopefully I'm not mumbling too bad. Well, Let's just, um, let's back it up here. Let's go back to, um, let's start back with our red, then we'll just go into yellow. I think that will be the best. Round two, guys. Let's give this a shake here. If you've ever watched the show Tool Time, we've been binge watching that. It's been a pretty, pretty good show. I remember watching it when I was a kid, you know, growing up in the 90s. That's about it. All right, so let's start with our transition here.
Let's bring it out a little bit further. Seems to be pretty. Seems to be pretty well packed in. Anyways, how's the weather where you guys are at? Is it springtime over there yet? We had a pretty nice day today. The day before was looking pretty good, so we decided to take the dog for a walk. Walked him around to the park uh, on the other a block away from here, and then we walked like two blocks north to the post office. We get inside of the post office, get what we're going to get, and then boom, huge hailstorm. So we were uh, kind of trapped at the post office for a little bit. Alright, so... Really, the better you train your you train your hand to do that motion right there, the smoother your transitions are going to come out. This thing is pretty goddamn back heavy with this battery on here, so I'm really having trouble uh, getting a consistent getting a consistent pendulum here. <laughs> Good artist always blames his tools, right? Not. Just 
Well, one steady here. There we go. Let me get this cleaned off here with a clean one. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. As you can see, you don't really see much difference in the orange here. I probably, if I probably would have used a darker red, I think it would have pulled the effect off a little bit better, but this is what it's all about, man. We're learning, um, you know, I'm just, this is just me being me with you guys here. I'm not some sort of mad scientist or mad genius. I'm just some guy who, you know, loves tattooing and I just, you know, I still have to work uh, to put food on the table. But yeah, so. Let me know what you guys think. Boy, I can't even really tell about the orange. I guess when you put the orange, when you put the red and thin it out with the yellow, you kind of get the orange, huh? Yeah, so really the smoother you guys, as you can see here, it's a little iffy right here. And that's just because, you know, my hand motions were consistent. <clears throat> my hand motions were consistent all the way through, as you guys could probably hear. <laughs> But anyway, cool. My name is Ron, guys. I hope this was able to help you out. Thank you for voting on the poll. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button, guys. I was kind of over ambitious on the Ava video. If you guys haven't seen the Ava video, go watch it. I would appreciate it. Hit that like button. Let me know what you guys think. And um, yeah, definitely hit that like button, guys. It really helps uh, get the videos out there. Um, let's me know uh, things things to keep in, things to take out, and stuff like that. Give me leave me some feedback, guys. Uh, this uh, this channel's um, I'm not going to say evolving, but I don't really think it's found its bread and butter yet. Um, I do love get doing the cartridge videos, but I do feel kind of burnt out on the cartridge videos, so. I do have quite a few still that I need to test out and leave reviews, like I said I would, so. Anyways, guys, uh, dynamic colors, if you guys are gonna use colors, dynamic, these are some of the best colors out there if you ask me. Um, as far as ease of use, um, they're super thin uh, and just easy to use. Um, a lot of people say, you know, when they're starting out, they have trouble packing yellow. Uh, I can honestly say that I've never had trouble packing yellow. So, um, and I think that is to do with how thin these inks are and how um, easy to use they are. So, if you guys are gonna start with color, I imagine I will, could highly recommend uh, using dynamic colors. To make sure that they're legit. Um, it's a good way to tell right there. Another way is that they will be sealed. Uh, dynamic seals their tops with dynamic seals another great uh another great orange out there is this world famous orange this is in that little butterfly cancer ribbon tattoo i did um, i'll pop in a healed picture of that it healed really nicely actually i was pretty uh happy about how nice it healed cool all right guys my name is ron any questions just holler let me know what you think. If this helped out, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know if you like the video. Let me know what's going on with your life, what you need help with. I'm here for you guys. So, yeah. Peace and chicken grease. Color blend video. Like I said, very rudimentary. Very simple. Using the pendulum. The pendulum method is just what really works for me. So, um, something I forgot to mention in the video was, you know, this isn't the only way to color blend. This is just the way that I figured out how to do it on practice skin. It works on practice skin for me. I haven't really put it to the test on human skin. So, cause I don't really do a whole lot of color tattoos, but best believe if I ever get a chance to, that's what I'm going to, the method I'm going to use. Cause it's just simple for me. It's just, you know, I'm using the same technique, same hand motion that I'm used to. So anyways, 
hopefully that was able to help you guys out. Thank you all for voting in the poll. Don't forget to like the video if you like it. If you don't, don't worry about it. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.